doing the Martial review regardless, but on that Martial review, I'll let you guys vote on the next player to do after that, so you guys will be able to check that out. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump into this Quadrado review. Oh, and also, I freaking, well, I didn't meet Ronaldo, but he was literally like, maybe 15, 20 feet away from me, and I'm talking about the Brazilian legend Ronaldo, arguably the best striker of all time. I'll talk about that more later, but freaking Ronaldo was near me. He was insane, but uh, let's go ahead and jump into this review for now. Opponent number one, he's got a mostly league on side. Actually, that's not true. The attack is, the rest, the defense, and the goalkeeper is a bit of a mix. We got some Premier League with La Liga. That's about it. Anyways, let's jump into this game. Quadrado, look at the space. Here we go, here we go. He can outdo Clichy, no problem. Cuts back, and a long shot, here it is. No way! What a debut goal! 12 minutes in! Quadrado outpaces Clichy, finds some space, and you know he's got those 85 long shots. Just a couple minutes into the game, and already a rip. What? Nothing I can do about that. Oh my god, dude, what can I do? Wait. I accidentally muted my mic for a sec. What was that goal, dude? Another long shot off the post. Absolutely unreal. I'm in shock. I literally clicked mute, but I didn't want to stop playing, just unpause it, but then I score that. What is that goal? Quadrado assist, maybe? What a ball that was from the quad. Oh, and what a finish. A two goals and an assist already in the first half on his debut. Insane. Oh, what a, what a weird goal to score. I guess that makes up for uh, his two goals, quite similar to that. Ericsson to Quadrado. Oh, he's got so much pace. 94 pace. And he's just weaving through. And for the hat trick. What a goal that is. What a debut. Hat trick and an assist. He's dancing around. It's lagging. Quadrado interception. Just run through him. You've got the pace. You've got it all. No way. If he does it... Oh, what a goal. What a solo goal. He's insane. He's absolutely insane. Wow. That's the game. Just an unreal performance from Quadrado. Surely a 10.0. Not a 10.0. Well, still 9.6. Man of the match. Four goals and the assist. What a performance. Just literally just about as good as it can get for a debut. Next up, okay. Wow. Next opponent has an unreal squad, including that brand new Suarez. I'm not sure he, why he would have someone like Koke in there. Like, surely you could get someone better. Modric, another legend. I don't know. But just an unreal squad. <sighs> Every goal I've conceded, there's nothing I can do about it. Nice. Quadrado can beat Ramos, that's for sure. What can he do now? Go along the line. Ref, yes! Quadrado gets us the pen. Dude, what was the ref doing? He tried to look so sick walking over there. What was that? But Quadrado beats Ramos for pace, and then draws the pen. Let's see if he can convert it. Oh, he's already on it. 69 pence, dude. Alright. Here we go. Oh, he converts it as well. Let's go, Quadrado. Nice. Quadrado, why aren't you running, dude? Look at that, Quadrado's sitting back in the midfield. So we're gonna have to go with Baca. And we do! That was the first time I've been disappointed with Quadrado. His shooting amazing, his dribbling amazing, passing great. But then there, that positioning, what was that? He was not running. 
There he is, like in the well, mid circle there. That's not gone according to the script here. So dumb, man. Buffon, come on. Damn. Dude, my Chiellini wasn't running. Oh my god, off the crossbar. What a long shot. Nice. Oh, Quadrado. That ball control. No way. No way. He ties it up. Late in the game. Against this legend team. That was not clean at all. What, dude? What? I mean, that's what having those insane players will do for you. That's just the difference in the price of the team. Can't take anything away from that strike, but again, like, what am I supposed to do about that? Well, man, we lose 90th minute to that Suarez goal. If you're gonna lose to a goal, that's the type of goal you want to lose to. That was insane. But a good performance from Quadrado, 8.6, man of the match goes to Baca, one goal for Baca, two goals for Quadrado, and then no assist that time for Quadrado, assist for Baca, Kadira, Son. Great match from Quadrado though, let's move into the next one. Alright, and for the final match, we have a little bit more of a cheap squad, finally, after that Legends team we could use a break, and he doesn't even have that Dembele at right forward, so he's going to be on low chem. Interesting squad, like Sahin. Never seen someone use Sahin. There's way cheaper options, or there's as cheap of options that are way better. Maybe he's really good with him. We'll just have to see. Oh my god, I got so nervous he wouldn't finish that. Dude, he got injured. Dude, he keeps faking injuries. What's going on here, Quadi? But, dude, if you get him on a corner. I've said dude like eight times, I'm sorry. But anyways, if you get him on a corner, he's probably the best player I've ever used to come from the side, weave through the box, and finish it. Well, finally finishes now. He's had two chances like that before. One hit the post, one forced amazing save. But he's just unreal with the LTRT dribbling. Wow, nice job, Barzagli. Ooh, Quadrado's got some space. Oh, it beats his man so well. That's unreal. And a finish as well. The pace to beat his man there runs all the way around him. Kind of reminded me of uh, Gareth Bale in the Copa del Rey final. But uh, just inside a little bit. Anyways, what a finish though at the end of it as well. Quadrado. Son. Sweat it over. And... Nice, Baca. Quadrado wasn't in... Whoa! That was, that's an awkward pose. Let's not. Thanks, EA. <laughs> but anyways, um, Quadrado not involved in that one. But still, great team play. There it is. And now you burn him. He tries to foul me there. Oh, what a finish outside of the boot. That was just beautiful. Look at that. He tries to swipe me. But look at this. Ooh. Love that type of finish. Are we gonna get a rage quit? Three goals for Quadrado. And it's a rage quit. Yep. There it is. So there you have it. Three games played with Quadrado. This in form card. Nine goals and an assist. And he did hit the crossbar on a mean long shot as well as the post twice, I think. At least once, I know, but I think twice. So stats wise, 94 pace. He was a blistering fast, probably one of the fastest players I've used this year, so no complaints there. 10 out of 10 pace, 89 dribbling, just unreal. It has to be higher than that. It really has to be higher than that because his LTRT dribbling was probably the best I've ever used. And I know I keep saying like best ever for these reviews, but seriously, I don't know. Some of these players I'm using are special, man. His LTRT dribbling was fantastic 80 shot obviously he has better long shots at 85 long shots but he had some of the best long shots i've used too i won't say the best i won't overdo it there um but he just had really really strong long shots as you guys can see in some of those games so really good uh long shots even not even better finishing but 
pretty good finishing as well as you saw it says here 75 finishing in game definitely felt stronger than that so don't have much complaints there 70 passing that's about where it was for me 74 physical um i don't know i didn't really get many chances where he like held people off the ball so i might say it's a little bit lower than that he didn't feel like weak but he just didn't stand out to me there the one thing I will say, 52 defense, he kind of felt really, really bad at defense. Like, every time I tried to make an interception, it would always go through his legs. So, I know you're not buying him to play defense, but just be aware of that. When I played with him, his defense was not strong by any means. So, I'm going to have to give that, like, a lower rating there. But overall, as a forward, we're not looking in at him as, like... A midfielder defensive midfielder right back we're looking at him as a winger a forward so that's how i'm going to review him and out of 10 for that as a right winger i'm going to give him a 9.4 out of 10 he was very very strong insane shooting great dribbling great pace um, but his physical could be a little bit better and then if he did have a four star weak foot that would be nice as well but a 9.5 or 9.4 super high rating definitely enjoyed this card not many complaints just the weak foot could be better and then the physical but other than that the card was insane so if you did enjoy this review drop a like i'd appreciate it subscribe if you're new to the channel stay up to date with everything oh and real quick i know this is kind of a random image to use but that's just a random picture i'm putting there so i can talk but about the whole ronaldo thing i did also post on my twitter an actual picture and his picture that he put on his Instagram story. So if you want to see that, go check it out. It's in the description. It'll also be at the outro screen. It's Noah YT5. So I talked a little bit about it on there, but he was freaking at the Trailblazer NBA game and he was just a few rows down from me. I couldn't believe it. I saw him and I had to like double check. I'm like, wait a second. Why would he be at the Blazer game? Like, I couldn't understand it. And then I figured out he was at the Nike headquarters. He was doing that type of stuff. So it was crazy. Follow me on Twitter. If you tweet me, I'll almost always reply. But anyways, back to the outro. Do have some cool videos, like I said, coming out this week. So definitely stay tuned for those. And other than that, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you later.